do a quick video showing you how I get a deep uh, red color when I dye my fondant. It's super simple and you're gonna be like, that was so easy, why am I even making a video? But a lot of people ask me, so I just wanted to put together a video real quick. All right, I can't believe how many times I get asked this question and I can just make a quick little video to explain how to do this. How do we make red fondant? Now, I usually don't make an entire batch of red. I have a video on how I make marshmallow fondant and I will link it below. It shows how I make white and black fondant. If you need to make an entire batch of the red, you could just add red instead of black to the melted marshmallows as I show in that video that I will link below. So this fondant has been wrapped and stored in a plastic container. It's really hard right now. So what I wanna do is break off a little chunk, and I know chunk sounds disgusting, <laughs> but I need a little piece because I have to make a number topper. So I wanna break off enough. I have to make a one and a zero, and that should be good. And then I'm going to wrap up the rest and put it back in like a Tupperware container with a lid to help uh, prevent it from drying out. Now, I can't work with this. I need to soften it up a little bit, so I'm gonna have to stick it in the microwave. When I microwave fondant, I have a paper plate that I wiped some Crisco on the bottom. That way, nothing is gonna stick to it. I'm gonna pop this in the microwave for about 10 to 15 seconds, flip it over, and do another 10 to 15 seconds. So I did 15 seconds on each side and now it's really soft and pliable. I have cornstarch in this little shaker. It's not powdered sugar. Powdered sugar is gonna make everything sticky. So I prefer to use cornstarch when working with fondant. And I also have some shortening. So both help prevent the, the fondant from sticking. So I'll wipe a little shortening on here and in my gloves and just start to knead this together. If you happen to put this in the microwave too long and it's really, really soft, just let it sit for like, um, I don't know, five to 10 minutes so it can start to cool down a little bit and then you'll still be able to use it. That's why I like to just put it in at uh, short intervals. I always mix some Tylos powder or CMC powder. It's the same thing. Mix some Tylos powder in with your fondant. It's gonna help your fondant hold its shape and not be so soft. So this is, oh uh, gosh, I don't know, three quarters of a pound of fondant, I don't know, a pound of fondant, and I'm just sprinkling a little bit on there, okay? And then just knead that all together. And now we are ready to add some color. Now, <laughs> believe it or not, I just use a lot of coloring to color my dark fondant. This is super red. This is Alan Tetriol brand. I'm not sure if he still makes this, but any brand I use, Americolor or Chef Mate or whatever the other one is, um, I use any brand of coloring, just super red. So I'm going to squeeze a bunch on here. Okay. And then I'm going to keep some Crisco out on the counter so I don't get red all over the place. Get it in your gloves. Wipe a little more down on the countertop and just knead this all together and see how deep the color is. And look, this looks really good. This super red is really intense. So, I mean, I did use about a tablespoon of it for this, but it, it really deepens the color. When you add a lot of color to fondant, it tends to soften it up. Like it's really soft and stretchy right now, okay? So if you wanted to use this, um, it, you just have to add a little more Tylos powder to it. This is, this is just what I do. After I add the coloring, sprinkle a little more Tylos powder on it. It's about a half teaspoon. And just knead that together. And this is not ready to, to be worked with yet. You could see, I don't know if you could see, but it's still kind of separating. And you just need to give the Tylos powder some time to work. So what I would do is just roll it up into a little ball and put a little cornstarch down and just set it aside for 15, 20 minutes before you start to work with it. And if you don't wanna use it right now, you wanna store it for later, just get a piece of plastic wrap, wrap it in plastic. I'll also put it in a Ziploc bag and store in an airtight container at room temperature. 
So here you go. Here is your red marshmallow fondant all wrapped up and ready to be stored. I keep my fondant in this little container. So I'm a little crazy, but I, I separate it by color. So I have pink, red, orange, yellow in a bag, and I can put this one in this Ziploc bag. And then I have greens, blues, and purples. And then I have black and gray, and I have one for tan and brown. I just like to separate it, it's easier. So I try to keep them all in separate little plastic bags. And then in this little lock and lock container, the more that you wrap it up and protect it, the less it's gonna dry out, okay? So I can leave this fondant, I go through fondant so fast, but I can leave it in this container for about, I don't know, a couple weeks and it'll be fine. And again, I know I should be a spokesperson for this stuff. Maybe one day they'll, they'll pay me <laughs> to promote the product. But anyway, Tylos powder, CMC powder is the same thing. I can find it and link it below. I put it in all of my fondant. The fondant is so much easier to work with when it's a little more stiff. Um, that did not sound right. <laughs> but anyway, it's easier to work with when it's a little more stiff and it's more rigid and it's not gonna move around on you. It's easier to cut, it holds its shape, you can put it on top of cakes, like whatever. Anyway, I'm talking too much about it. Get some Tylos powder, it's gonna change your life. It's gonna make your fondant so much easier to work with. So I think that's it for now. If you have any questions, leave them below and I will answer them as soon as I can. I try to find all of my YouTube comments. It's so weird, they're scattered about and sometimes I miss them, but I try to answer everybody. And if you want to, you can follow me on social media. I'm on Instagram and Facebook and I have my website and I will link everything below as well. And if you want to stick around, you can watch these videos next and hit the subscribe button and the bell if you haven't already. Please like this video if you liked it and got something out of it. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much and I will see you on the next one. Bye.